They all just came pouring out of the station. They're using sirens. Whatever it is that's up there, it's about four blocks up. I'm on foot. I hope I can get up there before it's all over. Okay, so I got up here and they've got a crime scene set up. <laughs> See the crime tape over there. Let me zoom in a little bit. No, I don't believe it was an auto accident because there's a car on the sidewalk over there. Yeah, really. <laughs> the, the car hit a suitcase. Oh shit! I'm gonna go across Washington see if I can get a better angle from over here. Okay, here we go, we're on the other side of Washington now. You can see the red car there. Came to rest against the pole. Looks like he was driving down the sidewalk before he hit the pole. It's unclear whether he bounced off the wall of the store over there before he hit the pole. Doesn't look like anyone got hurt too bad because I don't see any fire rescue. Well, I don't see any of the occupants of the car. I haven't seen a prison transport. So they obviously didn't take them into custody. And we got six cops here, seven cops around the wrecked car. There's seven units. I know there may have been more than one to a unit. starting to look inside the car. I haven't seen a crime scene unit arrive, but they're looking in the car. Okay, so this cop went into the car and came out with this bag of food and she's eating it <laughs> while she's standing there.
because I didn't see her go inside the bodega. She was just looking in the car. And then she got out and walked around and started eating that shit. Now she's coming this way. Probably saw me feeling her doing it. Turned around and went back. She's eating some more. <laughs> Supervisor pulled the SUV up a little bit to get other cars clearance. It's funny how the regular officers knew to leave a gap over there. Opposite these bouncy pylons, people could get through. But the supervisor pulls up and just puts it opposite the, them to completely block the road. But he doesn't even have his Christmas tree flashing, he just has it lit. Okay, now the tow truck's here. It looks like crime scene's about done with it, so he should be cooking it up any minute. So I guess they're waiting for a crime scene unit or something first. Here's the crime scene unit. So that's what it was. They were waiting for the crime scene unit first. I figured that because they had the crime scene tape up. This is unit number 34. Hmm, 32. Can't see the thing with the flashing lights. 3402, okay. There's the crime scene unit. Crime scene unit has now gone over to the vehicle. Where the crime tech has gone over to the vehicle. Okay, evidently the unit I get the number on is being driven by the male officer who was talking over there. That's the female pulling out with them in the sedan. So now they just left two units here protecting the intersection until a crime scene, I guess, has to take pictures or whatever. You see the crime tech on the phone. Parking department's here. You're gonna give him a ticket? Hey, you're gonna give him a ticket for parking on the sidewalk? <laughs> oh. 
Park you guys shoot video. <laughs> Seat crime scene. Checking out the car. One six zero three five. I don't know, it doesn't say supervisor or lieutenant or anything on it. Usually those high numbered SUVs are brass though. Well not brass, but higher ups. walking over to talk to him. And they're all kind of happening behind this car but I can't see them. Now the tow truck's back. He's sitting behind a parking department car. Ready to pick up. Yeah, usually the supervisor's cars say supervisor or lieutenant or sergeant on them. This doesn't but usually the 160 series are the newest ones, so they go to the highest ranks. Tech supervisor, you can get one or get 140 series. Because they are numbered sequentially as they got them. The parking department drives over the pylon bouncy divider there in order to get out. Supervisor pulled his SUV up a little bit to give other cars clearance. It's funny how the regular officers knew to leave a gap over there opposite these pylons so people could get through. But the supervisor pulls up and just puts it opposite the, them to completely block the road. And he doesn't even have his Christmas tree flashing, he just has his lid. Okay. Now the tow truck's here. It looks like crime seeds about done with it, so he should be cooking it up any minute. Crime scene's moving. Beaming. Wow. <laughs> oh, it caught on his antenna and broke anyway. You see that? He reached out the window and he put the tape on top of the van. Or she did. I'm sorry. And uh, <laughs> there, there was an antenna sticking out at the top of the middle of the van. So the van got under it and then it caught on the antenna and broke. <laughs> oh, no. These guys took down the crime scene tape that went across 14th Street, so the tow truck can make the UE. There goes the crime scene unit, and made a U-turn up at the corner and is now headed back to the station. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, and hit that bell notification.